Hi everyone. Just going to do a tag. <coughs> Excuse me. It's called All About Eyes. I'm sorry, I'm looking across there because that's where, where my book is um, propped up for the questions. There's ten of them, so do excuse me when I look over there. All right, the first question is, what eye cream or serum do you use? Well, mine changes. I don't have a fa favourite. Um, when one tube finishes or jar finishes, um, I go on to a different one usually. Usually whichever one's on offer, um, but it's always a good one. Um, I know I go for the cheaper ones usually. Uh, at the moment I'm using ROC or ROC, whatever you call it. Um, and it's called Multi Correction Serum. Um, it says it helps wrinkles, dark circles, bags, dryness and dullness. Now it's done wonders, wonders for my wrinkles on the outside of my eye, but or eyes rather, but for dark circles I don't think it's done a lot. Um, I got this in my local chemist for £4.20. It retails at £24.99 I think. So I won't be repurchasing this one again unless I see it on offer again. The next one is what under eye concealer do you use? Well I use the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and the colour I am in I don't know because it's rubbed off. Oh very good. That's going to be a good one I want to buy it again. Nope, can't see. I hate when this packaging does that. It should be on the little label, I think. But I think it's... It's not the lightest. It's the one up from that, I think. Uh, oh, excuse me, I've got an itchy head. Um, what eyebrow products do you use? At the moment, I'm using one from... Oops, Claire. One from MUA. And it's the Pro Brows Ultimate Eyebrow Kit. It says all in one shape, shade and highlight. Uh, the wax was in there, which is there's a tiny little bit left in there. I use this colour, you can obviously see that. Um, this is too dark for me. And then that's supposed to be a highlighter, which I find is too dark for me too. Um... But you know, you can use these as um, ordinary eyeshadows. Make good, good ordinary eyeshadows, and that's the one that I use. So that that is, for the money, that's quite good actually. Um, quite quite pleased with that. What um, eyeshadow primer do you use? Well, I go between the two. My Urban Decay in the original and the e.l.f. eyelid primer. This is the cheaper one. Um, obviously this is very good, everybody knows about this, but this is very good. It's a bit more of a wetter consistency to this one, but as long as you let it dry and you don't put too much on, um, it works for me. Uh, what was this one? Oh, favourite eyeshadow palette. This took me forever to decide, and then I ended up going with the original Naked palette. I wanted to put in, oh, I wanted to put in so many. Some of my sleek ones, there was, um, oh, what's the Smoked palette? And the Urban Decay brought out, but in the end, I thought I'm going to go with this one because you know, there are some really good shadows in here that I do use a lot. I mean, obviously, I have a hip pan on this, I use this one a lot. Uh, this is an absolute gorgeous color, um, and as is uh, this one here, this is a gorgeous gold. Um, and unfortunately, there, there is only two matte colours in here, that one and that one, um, which is a bit bit unfortunate, but I mean these, I mean look, they're lovely, 
you know, can you want a, a better shade of colour from that? I've got to reach for a tissue now. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I haven't got a wet tissue, but I've got a tissue tissue, so I'll, excuse my fingers. Um, so yeah, so that had to be my choice. And I've got my makeup remover here. I use that. Which is the next question, I think. What's your favourite eye makeup remover? Well, the one I'm using to clean my hands. Um, which is Simple. The one from Simple, the cream, the cream um, one. This one. It is really, really good. Um, I used to. I used to use the oil ones and I used to complain every time I took off my eye makeup that it wasn't taking it off properly. I was dragging my my eyes, you know, my skin around my eyes. I was having to scrub at my, my mascara. And I stood there one day and I thought, well, I've never tried this. You know how you stand in front of the aisle going, oh, what am I going to try now? Um, and, I, and I found this and I thought, well, it's one I haven't tried. I'll give it a go um, and that was months ago and I keep buying it again and again and again so try it it's really good where do we get to now favorite mascara well I haven't got my real favorite mascara in front of me because I've run out and I haven't got another one it is the orange tube from covergirl I think it's called Lash Blast. Um, absolutely love that stuff. I purchase it again and again when I can get hold of it. <coughs> the, some that I have got in front of me. This is a favourite. This is from um, Physicians Formula. And the thing is, I can't. I've never found this on eBay. Or if I have, the postage has been so much it's unbelievable. So I've not bought any. So I had to rely on friends to send me this from the US. That is really good. Uh, one that I have been really, you can't see this still in its packaging, really enjoying is um, Rimmel's Lash Accelerator. Um, it's a mascara, obviously, but it has um, a lash growth complex in it, and that actually does really work. And I got this one for £3.10p on sale. Um, I think they are still on sale, I think they're about £7 or £8. Pounds. So that's good. The mascara I'm using at the moment is a, is a little one from Benefit Bad Girl Lash. I showed this in a video recently um, saying that I wasn't keen on it. It's growing on me. Um, it's okay. I mean, I will finish what's in here, but I wouldn't rush out to buy another one. Um, I'm glad I didn't buy this one. I can't remember where this came from free and something um but i wouldn't rush out to buy it but it's a it, if this was all there was i would use it but it's not one of my favorites does that make sense i babbled there favorite eyeliner felt tip coal or gel um just recently all i'm using are gel liners uh my mac fluid line in dip down and oh didn't put this one out and the matte fluid line in the black one can't remember what it's called because it's not in front of me I also like this one's dried out a little bit on me at the moment um, it's the wet n wild eyeliner in their pot and it's number 886 and it looks like that but it has oh, I can't get the top one done okay has dried out a little bit. I um, don't know what happened to that. I don't think I got the top on properly one time. Um, it wants a good mix up and I should be able to use it again. Um, I should get a little spatula in there and give it a stir and see if there's any... Yeah, you see the, the top is really hard to get on. I haven't got it on properly there. So that's the air's got into that. Um, favourite single eyeshadow now this was hard and I ended up choosing the MUA shadow in shade 12 pearl now this eyeshadow is like 
two, three dimensional. You can, it looks, it has a blue shade to it and it also has a brown shade to it. Now when you swatch it, that's obviously on my finger, I mean it is a um, shiny shadow, <laughs> it's definitely not matte, but when you, right, when you put it on the back of your hand, you see the, the bluey silver colour, but do you see the brown colour? And the more you rub it, it changes. The more you blend it and blend it and blend it. And if you're very, very careful the way you put it on, you can get away with just one eyeshadow for the lid and for the crease. I mean, um, it's a lovely eyeshadow. Oh, makeup remover. Um, sunglasses. I don't wear sunglasses um, because obviously I wear glasses all the time. These glasses are um, reaction lenses, so these are my sunglasses. Before I wore glasses, didn't wear sunglasses, absolutely hated them. I don't like wearing glasses anyway. <laughs> they irritate me, but um, now it's a must, so I have to wear them. Uh, that's it. On my nails is the nail polish that I was saying that in my last video that I was going to polish my nails with, which is OPI's... Dutch you just love OPI. If you can see that, it's this one. There you go. I don't know if you can see. I was saying about the flex in it before, like it's, it's a purple colour with the flex. And the, the flex are like pink. I'm not sure if this is picking it up at all. Um, I don't know if you can see. But it is a gorgeous colour. On my lips. Is I went neutral today. Is lip liner from Jordana in Rock and Rose. Uh, that's a US brand. Um, and the lipstick is from I think it's from Essence. It is, and it's shade 52. And I've only got a little bit left. This is you know oh Felicia. One of um, the girls that I watch um, and we've done swaps with uh, on YouTube, she lives in the US and I was saying at one time that I really couldn't get a nude that looked right on me um, and she says I'll sort it out and she did and she sent me that lipstick and she sent me this lip liner um, and they both go together so, so well and they actually do suit me, well I think they do. Because um, I was finding, oh, do you know when you get the days where you don't want to wear a full-on lip? Um, and now I can. I can wear a nude. Right, that is the end of the video. Um, a long last, you're probably thinking. Um, and I'll see you again in, soon in the next one.